Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17 or at our website, WSKITV.com, where you can find this forecast all year round. Brought to you by the Widowmaker upstairs in the Base Lodge. They will be closed on Monday and Tuesday, FYI, but check them out on Wednesday. On Monday, weather department, cloudy for the most part. Few afternoon snow showers, very marginal at the base for snowmaking, but staying below, freezing up high. Also, a little bit of a breeze noticeable at the summit. Those southerly winds are what are blowing in a little bit of a warm front. And then back to cold temperatures on Tuesday. Awesome snowmaking conditions at the summit, 2 to 6 degrees. At the base, 14 to 18. And yet, we'll have nothing but sunshine all day. Winds around the west, noticeable at the summit once again with gusts up to 40. On Wednesday, we'll hold on to the sunshine and the good snowmaking temperatures, 28 at the base, 23 up high, so not quite as chilly. A good day. That looks to be the pick of the week. Thursday, mainly cloudy, warming up again a little bit, especially at the base, 37 degrees, 29 up top. Friday, crossing our fingers for snow showers, 31 at the base, 24 up top, so the temperature is going to go up and down. It's going to drive the snowmakers mad over the next few days, but they'll take advantage of every moment they can make it. Richwood Interiors brings you our trail conditions for Monday. We're up to a trail count of 31 trails and trail sections. We'll have eight lifts in operation. There is still no uphill traffic. This should be the last day because they do plan to groom all of Windrow tonight if it'll take them all night, which indeed it might. They also plan to groom upper and middle Timberline, Bridal Chain, Upper Tote, Upper Gauge, Lower Comp, Kings, Hayburner, Skidder, Sluice, Candy Side, Laurel Winters, the Landing, Birches, Snowbrook Trails. They're making snow on Lower Tote. They're going to leave that in that condition. They're not going to groom it. It will be open, so that'll be fun if you like to play in Fresh Man Made. Also making snow on the Birches and a few other crucial places. Snubber starts up at 8 o'clock in the morning. They made enough snow and pushed it around so they can operate that on Monday morning, nice and early for you. 8.30 for Skidway and Sawduster. 8 o'clock for West Mountain. 8.30 for Skyline, Super Quad, and Double Runner as well. What an awesome job. Groomers, snowmakers, lifties, all making it happen right here after we had all of that rain on Christmas Day. Just amazing. Good job, everybody. Thank you so much. It takes a lot of work. Not easy for those groomers when the snow is as hard as it is, but at least it did freeze up and allow them to do what they've done. Great conditions out there today, all things considered. Pet bike trail conditions, well, things are kind of frozen up, so that's a little bit in the iffy department and will depend on the temperature of the next few days. No matter matter what, get your exercise at the AGC, open full hours of this vacation week. Sports and Fitness Center also open until 9 p.m. every single day this vacation week. So there's a couple of indoors options if you still have energy to burn at the end of the day. Main Ski and Snowboard Museum invite you to come down and check out the new exhibit, the 50th anniversary of Tall Timber Classic here on the mountain. Please call for reservations. They're now taking reservations at the bag if you want to try that. You don't have to have reservations. The bag a real institution here at Sugarloaf in Village Center. And Bullwinkle's up on the mountain. A nice place to pop in in the middle of the day for a Bloody Mary or more. And if you want to know what's happening every single morning this week, our live shows kick off at 7.30. We also stream them live at WSKITV.com. So even if you're not here or you don't get Spectrum Cable, you can watch our live shows every morning this week. Happy holidays from all of us to all of you.